Hi Leo, welcome in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot, and this is going to be a reading for love. Leo, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Sun. Let's see what messages come through. Let's start with the okay, wonderful. A lot of cards. I cannot take them all. So reverse the rules if needed. Switch the cases. This may not be a reading entirely. Keep in mind these readings are gentle. They may or may not resonate with everybody. Leo. What's happening in the matters of heart for Leo? Wow, current energies, Leo. New opportunity to start all over again or simply just something new. Starting afresh. A new opportunity in love which has a capacity to take you to some higher levels of commitment. Ace of Pentacles. Very long term. Someone is having, is having a long term vision when it comes to relationship and love life. Six of Pentacles. But is it too much work? Are you the only one putting in effort? Your effort is not getting reciprocated or the other way around, right? Let's see what happened recent past. What brought in this new opportunity? Okay, we have six of pentacles again. Okay, let's take that. This can be work life also for some of you boss manager. But I see a lot of effort here. Someone trying to have a new beginning with you, Leo, Six of Swords and the world. Maybe you were the one putting in all the effort. Maybe the other person was the one. I see effort from one side not getting reciprocated. And maybe that was the point you decided that I don't want to work here. I don't want to put in effort here. This is not the way I should be working, right? Six of Swords moving away, moving on world ending a cycle maybe in past you have recently ended some cycle chapter relationship love life related or some other way i see travel also maybe you just release the bond with somebody and plan are planning to travel but i somehow see that in your romantic life there's some kind of emotional distance distance because one person was doing too much work and the other person was not investing at all so it's time to move on maybe recent past right justice a bond was released some logical decisions were made and it was an effort to bring back balance in your life let's see currently what's happening this for some of you this can be entirely new opportunity coming your way new relationship new conversation new opportunity nine of swords I see you stressing out, out about something. Are you still thinking about the ending that happened in the past? Or this is some new chapter, new thing bugging you here? What is this Nine of Swords? You're worrying about it and keeping awake at night, is it so? Chariot, yes. I see some plans are needed to be worked out when it comes to taking this connection forward, this opportunity forward. I see something is uh, being offered to you, but you're not sure how to get it, right? But very soon you're coming back on your chariot. So I see some guidance coming towards you from the universe. Uh, there will be a push for you to take you in some direction. Chariot energy with the Seven of Cups. Okay, you're confused in the beginning. You will be confused in the beginning, but very soon I see you finding the right direction. Wonderful. Page of Cups. Okay. So maybe when you decide to uh, get up and walk away from something, some romantic conversation, some compliments, some general romantic talk, or simply younger water sign can approach you here. I see some con conversation coming your way. Someone wants to talk to you about a commitment, Taurus energy, Hierophant. Where is the situation heading? We're going to clarify a lot of cards. I'm getting mixed messages right now, especially when it comes to the current energy. I see you are walking towards something under a lot of stress, but very soon you will have a defined plan to work over it. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Okay. I see this involves some bigger question, Leo. Some bigger questions here. 
Seven of Cups energy, a lot of confusion, fears, thoughts, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords involved here, feeling, feeling trapped when it comes to your romantic life. Okay, let's clarify a few cards and see what's happening here. So I see that a lot of investment was being done from your side or maybe the other person's side. One, one person was doing too much work. But then there was a decision to walk away from it because uh, maybe your efforts were not getting reciprocated. So what is the Six of Swords energy? Tower, yes. I see that there was a realization, epiphany or some kind of uh, information that came your way. Thunder, lightning, that was quite um, unexpected, caused a lot of friction and you decided to leave the situation, High Priestess. You kept a lot of thoughts and emotions within you, you did not express it, but you preferred walking away from the situation. Ten of Swords, yes. There was an ending, something was buried. Something was definitely buried. Maybe someone was putting in effort into multiple directions and none of the direction was getting rewarded. Page of Wands, walking away. Definitely see an ending, a short-lived connection for some of you short-lived attraction and then one person decided to walk away six of swords three of swords yes healing from the broken heart letting go of the past nine of wands very def defensive when it comes to love again hard to open up again world energy knight of pentacles now something new is definitely showing up this is the point where some new cycle is coming your way right because the past cycle has ended but I see some questions on your mind when it comes to a new relationship, new life, new chapter, High Priestess. A lot of things are there in your tummy right now. What is this High Priestess? What are you carrying here? Judgment. Okay, for some of you, do you feel like connecting with this person again? Maybe this was a feeling that I made the decision too quick. I just walked out. I don't know whether this person was thinking the same or not or the other way around right i see that someone walked out of the situation but now there's a confusion was that the right thing to do i see judgment also on someone's mind so maybe you're quiet about a judgment call coming your way someone is trying to reconnect here you're not sure about it or the other way around eight of swords especially when you have moved on from something now a lot of questions are coming on your mind that is it healthy to go back there again? Is it so, Leo? What is this judgment? Fool. Is it a foolish decision to step into it? I see questions related to a new beginning, revival call, starting all over again. Maybe this person wants to start afresh, but you're very quiet. What is this chariot energy? You don't want to repeat any foolish mistake of the past, right? Fool energy. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords. I see that you walked away from something, right? You picked up the right thing that was appearing to be the best decision at that time. You did it, you made it. And I see you walked out. Can be a question pertaining to a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This can be your energy also where you opted out picking up a pentacle and now you're just thinking and an analyzing was that the right decision? I do see a bit of emotional satisfaction and security here but a lot of questions are still there on your mind two of swords and while you're confused you are not making a decision intentionally delaying a decision i see page of cups coming in so what is this page of cups conversation coming your way transformation death let's leave the past behind and start all over again or let's transform this connection let's change something Four of Pentacles, you're not ready for it. I see you very skeptical about going back to somebody or going back, opening up to somebody. Ten of Cups, it is about emotional satisfaction. Page of Cups, Ten of Cups, I see someone is coming back to transform this relationship, starting all over again, let's work it out again, maybe I was faulty. Apology, I strongly picking up, I'm strongly picking up apology here, Leo. So someone wants to apologize about how things went in the past. I see reconciliation calls, judgment with the four. But I see that you're very skeptical about opening up to it because um, 
death with the four of pentacles i think you're over it or at least you're trying to get over it because you don't want to go back to a cycle where you are the only one investing all the time and you're not getting the response page of wands very disheartened and uh, disappointed ten of cups call for reconciliation okay what is this ten of pentacles energy for leo what is this ten of pentacles energy we have the five of pentacles which popped out seven of cups here five of wands in reversed okay so five of wands in reversed i think you have already released something some opinions some conflicts some past energies you have already released them or you're coming to a point where you you know more carrying them right ten of pentacles for the long-term stability of the family relationship home Maybe you're living with this person right now, but you have given up on something from the past. So now going back somewhere might be very confusing for you. I see some past person trying to reconnect here. What next? Knight of Swords. Yes, very, very unexpected and quick conversation coming your way. This can be an angry or an agitated conversation also. Someone is very angry about something. Page of Swords, yes. Page of Swords, Nine of Swords. I see someone is very angry and agitated about getting back together. Maybe the decision made in past was uh, very harsh and the other person thinks that you were the one who did the wrong thing to walk out of the situation or the other way around. I see someone is very angry about the decision made in past. Two of Pentacles here, still juggling. What is this Five of Pentacles energy? Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the King of Swords. Definitely a call of reconciliation is coming back, Leo. Right? Someone wants to start afresh and they want to start it from scratch. Right? This is the past person returning, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles again here. But I see that someone is still holding those selfish tendencies. Right? Knight of Cups, they have their uh, priorities set. Before offering a cup to you, they might be feeling like uh, drinking it their own or tasting their cup on their own. King of Swords. I see someone acting very cold here, right? So despite of talking again or despite of getting back together again, I see some agitation in someone's energy here. Queen of Cups and the other person is still emotional. Okay, cold energy. Very cold. Someone is acting very cold. What is this Eight of Swords? We have the Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and Page of Cups. The Apology. Moon. So there, there will be an apology here, Leo. Definitely there will be an apology. I see one person is acting as the bigger one. This can be your energy where despite of so many fears and despite of so many questions, you again put an effort into the situation. I think this has happened multiple times in past when despite of knowing the questions despite of knowing the uh, doubts you were still putting in effort into situations you tried building on something you tried uh, putting hard work into something but all you were left with were a lot of questions seven of cups i see a lot of questions right confusion so i see that there is a skepticism in your energies when it comes to working over connections which involve indecision, someone is cold, someone is uh, not ready to compromise, I see agitated energies here. More like, I want to work, but on my terms. So these situations somehow cause a lot of emotional imbalance in your life or they have caused some kind of emotional imbalance in past. I think there's an emotion that I don't want to go back there. I don't want to repeat the cycles of the past. For them, it's a new start. For them, it's like, let's start afresh. But for you, I think a lot of questions are there on your mind. And a lot of confusion is there on your mind. When it comes to working it out, we have what you need to release. What are you carrying? There are some past emotions which are heavily dominating on your mind, Leos. It might be related to this person. It might be related to your past experiences when it comes to relationships, right? So some emotions have to be released. Again, it's time to release negativity. 
is that that you're thinking too much when it comes to this connection you're overthinking about it or maybe not just when it comes to a connection to this connection but in general your love life a lot of questions i think you're holding on to and maybe that's why you're not, not opening up to, to the not opening up to the true love or emotional fulfillment that can be coming your way very soon what is this emotions are running high yes i see very emotional state of mind i see you both are somehow very emotional for them emotions are turning into anger for you emotions are turning into confusion or the other way around but for one person the emotions are taking up the form of anger and agitation for other person emotions are taking up the form of confusion and resistance right we have prosperity lies ahead the moment you release some toxicity within you overthinking waking up at night um just not uh, relaxing yourself i see once you do that prosperity lies ahead right we also have adjustments are required so some kind of adjustments and compromises are required when it comes to working on this connection right what else hold your vision so don't be confused when it comes to this connection right i see a lot of questions what should i pick it's time you hold your vision and prioritize your requirements here we also have worked through your fears nine of swords energy it's time to release negativity and get rid of the fears you're holding on to when it comes to commitment and settling down right these are the messages i'm getting for leo thank you so much guys for watching bye bye